Welcome back to War Thunder Jets Only Lobby. Uh, wow. In this part, we wow. uh, we uh, uh, get uh, we, we we get leaked on the forums. Yeah. In this in this next part, I leak sensitive documents for multi million dollar military equipment. Oh, perfect! Um, Just what I was. All ready for the for. sake of benefiting my plane on the tier list. <laughs> you know. I want guys. We really to live in a plane. society. We live in a society where people think it's cool to client, like leak these sensitive military documents. Just so that they can, their plane can be more realistic and therefore better in the game. It's definitely Ugh. not cool, but it's definitely very funny. Skook, every time I hear it, I, I, I hear it. Evan always sends me the fucking picture of the days since <laughs> War Thunder leaks have happened in the forum zero, and I just know it's going to be a great time. I love that image. I love it's that so image. Funny. It's fucked up how like usable it is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like, it's not like, you know, once, you know, it's like, oh yeah, days since like 9-11 oh, or whatever, yeah. right? It's like... <laughs> oh my god, this mission. Uh, yeah, wow, I... Man. Oh, me oh, again! Yeah, there's, there she is. Thank you for saying <laughs> It's scary! It's, it's me in the long yellow arrow. Uh, also, I'd like to mention that the E-767 Early Vigilante plane is a is a mistranslation it's supposed to be e767 early warning i don't know how they got that how that turned into early vigilante but you know what it sounds cool i'll i'll say it man it sounds yeah. cool as an early warning plane Ooh. what are you warning Ooh. early who the appearance of an enemy plane Ooh. whatever what, you early, early vigilante bird? though what are you getting a worm yeah, yeah. A fucking wyrm bro a worm yeah. a dragon wow uh Oh yeah, this mission uh, made me frustrated because I got lost looking for these two fucks right here. The F-117A Razorbacks are the aces you have to shoot down to unlock the MiG-29. And uh, this mission is a piece of shit because those two E-767s are jamming your radar the whole time. So your radar basically doesn't work the entire mission. Yeah! It sucks. And I got That's lost. That's awesome. Blind run, baby! <laughs> yep, pretty much a blind run. But uh, I got the homies with me and... Uh, there's a thing you can do, there's a little trick to where you don't need to look for the enemy fighters on the radar. If you designate your wingman to combat enemy aircraft, all you have to do is find them on the radar because they're constantly showing up. Just fly over to them and they're probably over by the enemies. Anyway, yeah, we're going up in the X-29. It's an experimental plane it was meant to do some technology testing and, you know, the U.S. Air Force saw it and they're like, cool, let's put it on actual planes. And they did. But uh, this plane's cool because it got forward swept wing. Yeah. Leo. It's also fucking fast. And it's pretty colors. But I will, and I did mention this to Evan earlier, but I miss. That guy almost fucked on me. Um, <laughs> he almost just died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm playing on normal, so I would have caught that in the fucking face, but yeah. Um, also, this song is great. Uh, I was um, I was mentioning to Evan that I really miss. The livery of the first games playing the purple and the orange and the white um all of the colors in this are are um i'm drawing a blank like the this the... sequence right now is reminding me of the the ufo sighting footage from the air force oh yeah i forgot they released that and uh, mm. nobody, everyone just didn't care. It was really weird. I think because everyone just like, eh, everyone knows aliens or anything. Um, yeah. No, well, you know, aliens. Guy... Yeah, aren't they, aren't they, isn't that what goth girls are? Yeah. Aliens. Also, this one, I don't know what it is about this one Nighthawk, but he just fucks on me the whole time. He embarrasses me, bro. Already Whichever wasted, cardinal like. cardinal direction, mine's west. East. Well, that's really west centric of you, Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's all of them. <laughs> I'm an How omnidirectional. Inclusive fan. of you. Ooh. What can I say? Actually, mine is all of them except for west. Except for west, it's okay. I have west covered, so don't worry. Big east, okay. Sorry, what was the question? What's your favorite cardinal direction? This will be on the test. <laughs> North. North? North. That's a good direction. South a good direction. 
Delta's a good direction. I just direction like too. directions. Directions are good. You know, where would we be without them? Yep. Probably where we started. We'd be directionless. <laughs> real. So real. We would be wherever we are. We just wouldn't have a way to reference it. <laughs> no, I'm I'm assuming like like if you would uh, try that again. <laughs> If you had where you could, where where you were, where you were, where you had it, where you could do, you where, win the, he win where, the... you, where you could be anything. When you at the, when you, you won. When he, <laughs> when, he when he at the, <laughs> po -po 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 -po. <laughs> I, dude, I fucking love the use of that sound, the, that song. Holy shit. So <laughs> yeah, it's, the it's from other two. Songs. Yeah, from other two. Sorry, I was gonna say that, but I had the biggest hiccup. Um, oh, I thought you were referring to the win he audio. Oh no, no, it it it, it, it is used in that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. Is it? Yeah, that's oh, yeah, it's the uh, is the sanctuary boss theme from Mother it's Two. It's kind of it's. I think in the video it's a little bass boosted because like you can mostly Probably. hear the bass. Yeah, I think uh, so. Because I remember when I realized it was the it was the the Mother Two song, I was like, oh shit. I actually never really listened to the bass line on this song, and it kind of hits. Boom, 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 uh, boom, 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 boom. But, yes. um, yeah. like... Or, no, I'm think I'm doing the Mother 1 version of the song's bass line. The Mother 2 one's more of a boom, 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 Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah. When people use that... Like when something weird happens, you know. I can't think of oh, a, yeah. a like an where, example like where it zooms out and like the it's just a black border and it's just like what under what? it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And it plays that. That's that's a very funny meme. That makes me laugh. Yes. It's it it, it giggles me as the kids say. Do they? Uh, I said that when I was a kid. You oh, also. Kid, Senior the in high kid school. singular said, oh. I, okay, yeah, no, I do know, like, that does track, because I was about to say, you said it on commentary once years ago. Yeah. Uh, during Probably po closer to when I was a senior. Yeah, it, I remember it, actually. It was, uh, it was Pokemon Yellow, and you said it about the move Minimize. Oh, that it giggles me, because yeah. it's really pain. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't know giggle is something that you could impose upon somebody. Um, well, now you know. <laughs> now I do. Get, yep. get transitivized. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this mission fucking sucks. It was not fun to play. <laughs> um, I will say though, the thing I like about this game, and it will, it'll get um, more on display later, but this game experiments with a lot of different like mission complete conditions or like just like cool things. Because the last game was just like shoot enemy down or blow up boat or blow up base this game is like your radar sucks you still have to blow up enemy later it'll be like fly below this many feet otherwise if you don't you will be seen and the mission gets a billion times harder or shoot this guy he shoot is the, the reason sky. why this sucks because honestly this entire shitty radar thing would be circumvented if I just wasn't stubborn and went for the jamming aircraft first. But you know what? I wanted those damn ace planes. And now I'm running out of missiles. But it's okay. Because this is ace combat. And I have a billion missiles. Yippee. Those fucks right there. See, if I just would have blown them up first, none of this radar shit would have been happening. I have a question. I might have an answer. If you could be six foot ten, would you? Yes. Are you kidding me? In a heartbeat. <laughs> is this, this, like... I'm assuming this in, means you don't have, like, the health downsides that are typically associated with being that tall. Um... Would it would it be worth it to take on those risks? Uh, Actually, I was probably gonna say no anyway. Yeah. I would be a... I would be a mammoth of a man and be remembered for living until, like... 40 where I die of heart disease. I curse you <laughs> with yeast infection. I, um, no, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I just, no, I'm not okay, going to so have if that. If there are no health consequences with being that tall, would, would, would you take would you be that tall? I would not. Tr I trillion percent would. I think I would, I would Me probably not I unless you <laughs> raised it. I would be, I would be 
10 feet tall. Because <laughs> that's that's funny, right? Like, it would th for somebody to be I'd that be 10 big. Funny. Tall, but just for the bit. <laughs> yeah, I would be 10 feet tall just for the bit. Yeah. See, I, I like It'd my height. I like my height. I don't really feel the need to want it to yeah. be taller. Height liker. Height liker. <laughs> ah, you're Sorry. comfortable in your skin. I bet you <laughs> don't need that much therapy. <laughs> Fucking loser. Height, height liker. Hiker. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's just what the hikers are in Pokemon, man. Height likers. How tall is Leader from Mother 3? Oh. Uh, probably huh. four feet tall or something. Is there an actual think... answer to this? I'm curious. Oh, I'm curious too. Someone looking it up. How do you spell his name again? Uh, L-E-D-E-R? It's L-E-D-E-R. L-E-D-E-R? L E D E R. Like leather in German. Yeah. Leder. Leather. <laughs> nice butt jet. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I am a mono engine style jet. <laughs> I didn't even know those existed. What that... I, I just Google searched. She's gonna post the first fucking result. Okay, all right, here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. Did you look up later from uh, earlier? Everyone else is How tall is, is very later tiny. Mother 3? <laughs> Everyone else is very tiny. Oh all right, gosh. that's fair, but also Google searcher, Google searcher. Google searcher. Googler. Uh... Carrie, did you pin aircraft terminology? Yeah, in case <laughs> I like forgot image? so I could refer to it later. Oh, okay, right on. <laughs> Yeah, pitch, yaw, and roll. There you go. Yaw! <laughs> yaw! Uh, so I mean, in the last I, mission, I, 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 in this most recent mission, I, I fucking choked. Uh, there were two Razorback aces I was supposed to shoot down. I only shot down one. I don't know. The f He's a stealth fighter. How was I supposed to find them in dog shit radar? I'll tell you how. If I shot down the jam aircraft first. But guess what? I didn't because I'm stubborn. Oh, now we're gonna blow up Minecraft. Oh, and Minecraft. so that that result you got, that result you got, Whitney, it comes from a re a Reddit thread titled "Mother Three Theory." Leader is a normal six foot man. Everyone else is very tiny. Oh, it just for some reason grabbed that section of the post by itself. Yes, I love it's that. not even the whole sentence. It's just everyone else is very tiny. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna blow up Minecraft. But how do Minecraft. I pause? Uh oh, where are we? Uh, 1256, 1257, 1258, 1259, 13 minutes, 1301. Right, thank you. Okay. Um, what a dummy. <laughs> yeah, and then we talk to Leader, and he tells us about the history of the world while Eric Satie's music plays in the background. And then you start, and then I start talking about the disappearance of Haruhi because that's what I associate with that song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is fair. The disappearance of Baruhi Buzabia. Mm -hmm. You, you come into my Discord server. <laughs> <laughs> I sure do. Um. We still don't know the release date of the next book. We, I mean, we know it's coming, but. Like, they haven't given a release date yet. Here's me forgetting to buy a plane again. Wow, maybe you should have bought a plane. I should. Why the I wings look, so look, small? Guess what? Eight. What? I did. It's, it's a, look. It's not about how big they are. It's how maneuverable you are. <laughs> it's not about how big they are. It's about how you use uh, it. Besides, the answer to your question is the X twenty nine. As I mentioned, was a technology demonstrator, but also a. Uh, HSM demonstrator, so your high speed maneuverability demonstrator. Your wingman's uh, all show. like your wingman's all like, wow, your plane's so tiny, and he's just like, it's not about how big it is. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, it went to show the benefits of having forward swept wings alongside um wing canards towards the nose for maneuverability. Um and the answer to that question is Wow, forward swept wings uh, make a plane's ability to roll and, um, I guess for lack of a better term, move while in the roll. Like, lateral movement while the plane is sideways 
for like high speed maneuvers. It makes it really tight and really good. However, you're climbing like your ability to move up and down uh, that puts a lot of stress on the wings. So if you're like trying to like quickly raise altitude, the amount of g-forces that puts on the wings is enough where like there is a good chance your wings could snap. So yeah. I see, I see. Russia, Russia had a similar concept with the Su-47 Burkut, which is a plane I'm going to be flying a lot in Ace Combat 5. Um, but yeah, it's it's just it's just not worth the risk because a lot of dogfights nowadays between planes, as we're seeing in Ukraine and Russia, um, are like planes that you can't even see over the horizon are locking on to you and fucking lobbing missiles at you. It's it's changed so much than what it used to be. Um, man, yeah, it's still cool. And it's still fucking, I like fighter planes and stuff, but now I guess the equivalent would be is is people's complaints about basketball nowadays, how it's only three pointers. <laughs> Dog fights nowadays. Are, yeah, pretty well. It's not, it's an exaggeration. The, well, the yeah, game but has like, moved is it, is away it from more so that way? Yes, the game has moved away from like post players or you know big centers who are dominant in the paint. Um, and oh, now yeah, like you that need basically, anime. yeah, and now you need a player who can shoot from outside the arc or even beyond, because um, obviously three points is more than two points. And what you know, three is more than two. Fucking it pops you like a balloon. Shut up. Um, <laughs> I mean, it seems like a more boring game to watch. Yeah, or even a, play. Like this is a, that's a common complaint. This is a common thing about honestly anything really. Like when it comes to like compet, like when it comes to competitive anything, eventually a definitive strategy is going to come up, and then once oh. it does, it's going to be the only thing anyone uses, therefore making it more boring to watch. So the best I mean, game is one that unless you, you can't unless find you it. have like live updates. To the game. Oh case. yes, yes, you <laughs> know, out. installation. Okay, you can't Insta really yeah. patch. Well, you can patch basketball, but you know, I don't know. It's just hard because a lot of it, you know, a lot of fingers are pointed to oh, you know, Golden State Warriors. You know, they're all they do is shoot threes, and they're the ones who started the three point revolution and moving away from larger lineups to small ball and isolated one on ones. Very people like oh, but Houston Rockets also did that with James yeah. Harden and blah blah blah. But you know, it's. I felt like it was just a natural progression from guys like, you know, uh, Ray Allen, Reggie Miller, Allen Iverson, you know, back in the 90s and 2000s. So mm. it just is what it is. It's, it's like business works in a similar way where like, say like in the gaming industry, they now uh, like, I guess that like they can make a ton of money off of a massive, massive, massive expensive title as long as it's like the shit so therefore, they dump a whole bunch of money into an overly bloated game and then make it sterile as shit so it appeals to as many people as possible because there's no way they're breaking even otherwise. I hate AAA gaming. Yikes. Hey, firm. AAA gaming is very cringe. It's really big. Yeah, I, I don't like doing gaming at my uh, car rescue agency. The thing is, though... Know, what else does AAA do? They do travel, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The thing is, though, I'm hoping it's changing soon. Because, like, I feel like with how bad layoffs have been recently, there has to be incentive to change how they're doing things. There has to be. And plus, we're seeing, you know, games like, you know, Power World outselling uh, fucking the Suicide Squad game. Or um, okay, well, earlier this year, Lethal Company outselling Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Well, or Suicide Euro Squad Rally? never stood a yes. chance. Yeah, um, that was hated or, long before release. <laughs> yeah, or Lethal or, Company first to outsell. Uh, um, it is a good game. Or uh, right now, especially Hell Divers outselling a lot, a lot of games. Daniel refunded. Use. Daniel refunded Hell Divers. Unfortunate. He played it yeah. for a very brief period and didn't like it. <laughs> ah. Sounds like he doesn't like democracy. That's okay. Yeah. Um, Democracy. It's because of woke. Yeah. No. It's, I think. Uh, I think a lot of the little like passion project games. Um, they're so cool, and they're so yeah. neat. And and they're so and and it's what 
And they come from people who are like, hey, I played video games for a long time. I thought these things were cool in the games. Maybe other people would like them. And surprise, surprise, everyone likes them. So, you know, for every Suicide Squad game you have, you have your lethal companies where it's like one, 20, 100 team dev teams just fucking putting something out there that they like. And you know what? Everyone likes well, it. Too. Lethal Company is made by one dude. Or one dude, yeah. That's why I said one. A single years. furry. See, see yeah. the on Roblox. The indie game yeah, scene. Yeah, apparently his Roblox games are all right too. The indie game scene is uh, comparatively a lot better just because it fundamentally cannot be as shitty as the AAA scene is. It, mm -hmm. it it lacks the structure to cause the problems that are caused. Exactly. For AAA games. Exactly. Um. But I really wish that... I mean, this is also just in general, like, mostly a uh, Western... Uh, uh, mostly an American and, like... Well, I, Western, like, America and Europe, both. Can yeah. I have you hold that thought for a second? Like, yeah. Uh, okay, so I just want to explain this guy right here, Zo. Uh, Zo, we stand for Zone of Endless. This is going to be our primary enemy ace in the game. Uh, basically, the coup d'etat forces came up with this... AI pilot program that they put inside of a plane that's colored red and they send them out against you and you blow them up and they're like shit well we learned a lot from the last battle so we're going to put them in progressively harder planes hang on these so planes are piloted by chat gpt mm -hmm. uh yeah they're piloted by uh alan iverson from the Detroit uh oh, anyway so, so continue uh with your uh with your statements about the you know uh graham devs and the indie scene Right, so, like, it's mostly a problem with the Western scene. Like, I don't notice it as much with, like, Japanese devs. Unless said Japanese devs are trying to appeal mainly to the Western audiences, in which case... Square Enix is a particularly egregious example right now. Like, yeah. I like FF7 Rebirth, but Square Enix is a fucking bullshit company. <laughs> um, yeah. The, um, I hear they're pulling out of those kind of, like contractor companies though yeah they're like i suspect it's very likely that uh bad money stuff happened on account of their stupid decisions and they're shifting focus as a result um yeah. if there's one company that does get the importance of if there's one company that i feel does get the importance of uh smaller games alongside larger games it's nintendo yeah there are so, like there are so many games that like Nintendo releases and like a lot of it is done by outsourcing to other game studios who they do not buy. Mm -hmm. And you know, so there's a lot of there's like uh there's like a quality quantity balance going on there like with Nintendo's first party lineup most of the time. Mm -hmm. Um Compare that to, say, Sony, who made the public announcement that they have no major first-party releases coming out this fiscal year. Mm-hmm. Warning. Warning, yeah. Yeah, this means we've been getting locked down, too. I think I'm that a... this, is, this is punishment on gamers for being woke. <laughs> you That's damn guys who wanted this here... For your damn Forsakens and your, and your damn, your damn, your your damn games. Like what were you gonna say, Gabe? You were about to say something. Luck. Oh, um, I just said that I. The reason I, in a lot of these missions or a lot of these like, missions where there's an ace, I'll just like, beeline toward him because I guess <laughs> the first thing I want to get done, and uh, and that may be like, oh, but in this in this mission. And, and, and honestly, in this mission, I do kind of, you know, fall into the... There was a movie that came out a handful of years ago called Red Tails. It's a biopic based on the Tuskegee Airmen in mm. World War II. Um, and, uh, and the reason why, you know, that bomber losses were so heavy early on in the war is because you would have the German Luftwaffe. They would send out, you know, their picket planes or whatever. And American pilots wanting glory, you know, would chase them off and, you know, leaving the bombers pretty much ex The game cut off. Yeah, he did. 
the airmen would would basically not fall for the bait. They would stick next to the planes doing their escort mission, and you know the those damn Jerry's would get all frustrated and flustered, and you know make mistakes and dog fights. And but uh, I am totally an American pilot here. I just fucking I leave the bombers. I just they're all the way over there. I'm all the, I'm just fucking nowhere. Near. <laughs> all the way over there, and I'm all the way over here. Yep, and the, he's and in there, and we're out here. <laughs> and he's the sheriff, and, and we're the... frozen out here. <laughs> I, I just. <laughs> And I just remembered we're out here. <laughs> something I like. Yes. Something I do want to say, uh, going back to the previous subject, very briefly, is that while I am very much enjoying the FF7 remake series, uh, good God, is the padding atrocious? Mm. It's one of those things where it is so obvious that they are padding out the story that, like, even if you weren't familiar with the original, it, um, like, you can tell. And it's very, like, clear that it is padded out just for the sake of justifying splitting it up into multiple parts. Mm-hmm. They gotta get their return money somehow. Yeah, and well... Listen now. But hey, on the other hand, it sure fucking is a PS5 exclusive, and it sure fucking is a game that actually uses some of the unique features of the PS5 controller. Good for them. Only took them... Oh, what year are we into the PS5 right now? Um, year three? let's One. see, uh, it's, uh, almost three and a half years now. <laughs> yeah, year three, baby. And they've just straight up said that we're in the second half now. Yep. Well, no, this oh, is, yes, this yes, is yes, year four. This is year four. The bombers are getting It's the middle of year four. And one of the bombers got shot down, and I just, I'm like, okay, fine, whatever, I'll go over to my job. Like, one of the things that I think is neat is, like, uh, when Cloud is, like, on the ground injured while Sephiroth is, like, slashing, like, villagers, and, like, mm. he's, like, struggling to drag himself forward, and the way they, like, kind of, like, what they do here is, um, they, uh, you have to press the trigger buttons to uh, get him to, like, drag himself forward, but there's, like, actual resistance on the buttons itself uh, so that mm. you can, like, you feel oh. the actual struggle of moving forward. Mm. That's cool. Dude, I feel just like Cloud. Dude, this is... This, this game really makes you feel like Cloud Strike. <laughs> exaggerated swagger of a soldier. <laughs> now, that said, it's a... It's, it feels grossly one and done, and I would much rather play the original game. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, oh, I guess that's the end of the part. Well. Wow. Yeah, next time I Smash Team Games, I fucking struggle. Oh, God, here comes the stall mission. I'm so ready. Oh, ready. oh my ready. God, ready. that's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, we're in for a wonderful time next episode.